So, a question I get probably almost every video or every day on Instagram, like Facebook, from my friends, from you guys, is that what do, I, what do I need to do to, I guess, better my eating habits? What, what, do, what do I need to do to, I guess, increase that that that, that threshold from the eating uh, dirty to eating more lean? So this is actually a very common problem. This is actually encountered by not not just myself, but like others. You know, I know that probably a bunch of other you like fitness YouTubers like experience this. So today I'm gonna give you a few quick tips on how you can increase that threshold between the dirty eating and the clean eating and get the most lean possible you can before I guess this summer ends. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. She's going to be going to be doing cardio right now. So this thing open. Ah. We already know. This is the uh, I think strawberry BCA plus pre workout. But I'm gonna hit this up here. Uh, it's five rounds of sprints. I, I sprint for 20 seconds all out, and then I walk for a minute. So I'm, I'm, I'm surprised just gonna go down my street and do it, and then we're, we're gonna go and hit the gym. And trust me, guys, this eating habit thing is simpler than, than you may think. And yes, it can be kind of tough in a sense. So my first thing or tip is that you need to realize that it's a commitment to, to yourself. So if you guys think it's a commitment to yourself and that it's going to be tough, it's meant to be tough, then you will, it'll be instantly more easier because you realize that, okay, this is the journey I'm, I'm gonna take. It's a, it's a journey, it's a process, and you need to understand that process within your eating habits. You also need to realize that, you know, if you, if you wanna lose weight, gain weight, losing weight, you need to understand that you will always be hungry no, no matter what. Always be hungry and you will always just be like, I guess like crabby, <laughs> not crabby, but like, you'll always be like not yourself some of the days than others. You'll be kind of like mixed around a little bit because of hormones. But it's something you need to understand and take into account. Now, if you're bulking, right, you want to gain weight, you need to understand that you always have to be gaining weight. So you always have to be, you know, stuffing your face with food. Like, you know, the basic chicken, rice, and broccoli, and also like some burgers, or freaking cake, cupcakes. You, you kind of need to come into that reality that you, you can be stuffing your face a lot. So it's just realizing that you need to be uncomfortable with the uncomfortable. By doing this, you realize that you can definitely, definitely, I guess, accomplish not just this, but any, anything in life. So, but now, that was my first tip. Now we're, we're gonna get on so with cardio, again, and yeah, my door. let's start. A little too late for, I'm sorry for, the lights went out cause you kept cutting the cord. Right. My and quad I started was shocked cause I did this yesterday, I swear now. But we're gonna, hey man, screw that, that, that thing's for us. Let's freaking go. Let's go. Let's do, oh my god, that, that spider. Dang, that spider. Holy, look at this thing. Look at this thing. Look at this. Look at this. You see that? That guy's massive. Man, his legs. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely really beautiful. So I try to get some uh try to get some shots like over here. But this thing is just very, very unliable. I'm telling you right now guys, like it really is. Like I try to get a couple shots to you guys, I did. I got like one shot as like decent. <laughs> but if you think you're like getting a, 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 a GoPro, just save yourself the, the time and effort guys and the money. These things, sometimes they work. Sometimes they don't. I worked some my like exotic fruit video, but other than that, which I really like, kind of died. But other than that, though, dude, it's kind of unreliable. I'm gonna head back home now. It'll be all walking from here on out. We did about uh, half a mile or so. Six five. Uh, yeah, we're gonna head back home. We'll get this one in. eating habits are no late night eating. This is proven to, if you eat late at late night, it's more proven that you will gain weight more than you will lose weight. So it's important that you probably don't eat until at least, I'd say, before 10 o'clock. Or if you go to bed, let's like, say around like 2 a.m., 1 a.m., then you don't want to eat past like 
11 o'clock. You should always eat two hours before you are going to, I guess, go to sleep. So what you see from this are have a small snack at night, healthy thing at night. That way you can kind of like, I guess, calm that hunger down a little bit. Like what I like to do is I like to have like, you know, maybe a bowl, like skinny pop, popcorn, yogurt, granola, that kind of thing. So if you're all ready for this workout, let's get right in. Let's work out. Let's go. Okay, so the third tip for, I guess, improving your eating habits are get up at a reasonable time. So if you're getting up at around like, I don't know, like 1 p.m., 2 p.m., even noon, it messes up your whole eating schedule because you eat breakfast at like 12.30, whereas you won't be eating dinner till like 2.30 a.m. or maybe midnight, which messes up your late night eating habits once again. So this is kind of like complementary to the other uh, tip, which is the late night eating. So what you want to do is give around like, you know, a reasonable time, like a reasonable time would be like eight, nine, maybe even 10 o'clock. I mean, me personally, I get up at around from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. just because I get, I feel like I have more, more time that way. I can, I can get breakfast in at a reasonable time. It's more complementary to the other tip. And this will definitely improve your late night eating habits, but Let's go finish the workout. Let's go. Man, it's still raining out? It's what, it's been like five hours? Bro, it's been raining ever since I got done with those drone shots, ever since. It has not stopped raining. It's been on and off hard and soft rain. But it doesn't matter though, because we're gonna go and secure the bag at Chipotle. You guys already know. This is kind of like the biggest meal of the day, but also like the most calorie dense meal of the day. So it's been pretty important that if you do eat a big meal, you kind of prepare for it beforehand without eating less calories. So we're gonna get down and go to Chipotle. And secure the bag there. Probably get a bowl, chicken. I'll I'll see when I get there. I'll see, cause I'm actually not really sure what I get yet. But without further ado, let's get right to Chipotle and order some fire great food. The rain is up, guys. And you guys haven't noticed, I do have a headlight out. <laughs> I gotta get that fixed. But the rain is starting to pick up once again. Ah like a boss. Like a freaking boss. I don't know what it is, but every time I'm going to Chipotle, I just get a great vibe. I don't know what it is. I don't know why, but I just get a great vibe. For some weird reason. Maybe because the food's good, atmosphere's good. Like the food is fire. You guys already know if you haven't had Chipotle yet. If you guys favorite Kidoba, Come on, man. Come on, what are you doing? Give the game. Come on. But I think the rain is kind of finally stopping so we can probably get some drone shots downtown. So that'll probably be our next stop. So, yeah, let's go. I forgot to give you my last tip. <laughs> but okay, last tip is to eat healthy snacks throughout the day. That way, that way you're not feel hungry throughout the day. And also it'll kind of tame your hunger a little more. So what I like to do is I like to eat yogurt with, with granola in it. That way it has the carbs, the potassium, all that great stuff, even some calories in there. That will keep you full for a little bit longer. That will make you like last till dinner time or lunch time or whatever. It's important to incorporate three healthy snacks that are below 500 calories, I'd say, just so you can last yourself till dinner time or lunch time, whatever. <laughs> That's my fourth tip. Now, time 
for the outro. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe if I buy you any value whatsoever with the tips, the tricks, the eating, the healthy eating, the habits, the changing your eating habits. Make sure to like and subscribe, especially that. Make sure to have the jaws of life swallow you alive. Nathan, out.